Ah, jeez, okay. <coughs> yep. Yep. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. I should come out here more often. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Don't look at him. How's it going, everybody? It's Ed here, back in again with Night in the Woods. Last episode, uh, last episode was a bummer. Uh, last episode we got in a fight with B, but then we made B happy, but that was before we got in the fight with B, and, uh, I think that was also when we got electrocuted. Also, Greg's moving away. It's all just, a lot, a lot happened last episode. A lot happened. This episode, I don't know. Let's get on the laptop here and, uh, see what everybody has to say. Oh... Away message. Annual horror fest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Happy Halloween, dude. Hey, it's Halloween. Oh, I should have done this. Well, I didn't know, so get spooked or something. Oh, boy. So there's like a Halloween thing going on at the, uh, at the old pickaxe. So maybe we should head down there. See what's going on with that. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't, I don't know if he's going to be mad. I don't want me to be mad at me. I like B. I always think a cutscene's gonna start, but it's not. Mama? Mama, are you in the kitchen, Mama? Hola, Mama. Oh, there we go. Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um, you okay? Sure, honey. Uh, you're, yeah, you're lying. I don't trust you. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Oh, um... <sighs> Listen, I've got I've, if if what I think is gonna happen is gonna happen, I've I've got a big day ahead of me. You know what? Oh, fine. Okay, let's just listen. Let's get this out of the way right now. Okay, so what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out. Why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Oh, stop, stop, please. Jeez, Mom, where is this coming from? You know you're the the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we've been planning for it since you were born, spending a good 18 years, and got into all kids of and got into all kinds of trouble. You'd rather, you'd rather be here, might as well- Oh, I don't think I read that right. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in the house. You are the moody one in this house. <laughs> well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where it should be. Mom, come on now, please. Mom, this isn't funny. No, I can't say that to my mama. Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to... Maybe you wanted me to be get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of affairs that is our family. Ooh, this episode is not starting off good. <laughs> this is not starting off. It's a good episode. I'm leaving now. Okay, this episode is not starting off good. That's not what I wanted in the beginning of this episode. I did not want a bunch of drama happening. <sighs> All right, listen, boys, girls... If you don't want to go to college, you don't have to go to college. If your parents are making you go to college, then, I mean, I guess, you know, do it for your parents. Make them happy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to tell you, hey, don't go to college. Don't get an education. It's always wonderful to get an education, all right? This is a very touchy-feely subject. Hi, Selmers. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Hell yeah. Bats and Moon. Against the gloom, the night is black. I made a snack. What'd you make? A microwaved pizza I saved. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That's so true. It really happened. Nice. Oh, God. We just had that whole spat with Mama, and now we gotta... 
<laughs> no, we have to go to the old pickaxe. Oh, this is not <laughs> That was horrible. That was horrible. I love Mama. I didn't think that was going to happen. I, yeah, we clap back at each other. Goodness gracious. And their faces didn't change, but at the same time, you could still see the whole attitude. Kill the bird! Kill the bird! I missed it. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Ka Oh, right, I forgot that was a lady. Thanks, Kali, you're not helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that that we're that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, well, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine then, I'll send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Oh, and now he's upset. Everybody's just hi, Aunt Molly. Hi, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez, I guess you need that gun for what are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah, wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You'll kill him? No. You're, so you're saying you don't really need it, then? You should carry a battle... <laughs> you should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Uh, Possum Springs, 87th Annual Harfest. Brought to you by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Ooh. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, everything is so great at Harfest and Harfesty, which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that, or I could wander a bit, taking the Harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Nope. No, oh, never mind. Actually, no, that is the old pickaxe. What to do? You have for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the '60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow, you have a life way more wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Both, really. Just say, say, same thing, honestly. Hanging out in really embarrassing places online and ruining my life in the process. Well, we're hanging yeah, yep. <laughs> See you. Later. Well, alright, that was a Oh man. No, hold on. Alright, let's go back home, since apparently that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, so, apparently something's going on at the old pickaxe, but not now, apparently, so. Jesus Christ, these squirrels are making so many goddamn, make so many goddamn noises! I don't want to go up there. Let's just go back home. Let's just go back home. Oh yeah, apparently he's not missing anymore. Uh, uh, uh. I forgot his name! <coughs> I also sneezed. Um, I forgot his name. But apparently it was a dude, so, and for some strange reason, I thought it was a girl. Alright, let's just go back home. We went out, we chatted with a uh, couple folk. Let's just go back home. <coughs> mama, mama, I'm sorry for what I said. That wasn't really true. Oh, mama. There's nothing over there. Mama. Mama. I love you, mama. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. Screw it, I am sturdy. Is that good? Is that bad? What does that even mean? <laughs> Guys? No. Are we going up here? Ah, here we go, okay. So we're gonna change, I, so I assume. Oh yeah, no more clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Yeah, sweet. Oh, she's got a knife. Which Naga? Which Naga? Which Naga? Which Naga? Which Naga? <laughs> Shout out to the people who get that reference. All right, I'm a spooky little, I'm a spooky little witch. Look at me, look at me, doing spooky little witch dance. Hey, hey, spooky little witch dance. Hey, 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 spooky little witch dance. Hey, 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 spooky little witch dance. Yo, peeps. Are y'all hyped for Halloween? No? Y'all must be out trick-or-treating then. Fine. Thought I was gonna get a little, uh, happy Halloween thing, but I already got it from Greg. 
B didn't even bother to text or email me, but then again, she probably sent that to like a number of people, so let's go be spooky. Guys, Mama, Papa, are you down here being spooky? Hello? Hmm, they must be already on. They must already be on. Harfest! Oh yeah. It's time to get spooky, spooky, spooky. Time to, time to get spooky, spooky, spooky. Time to spook some people. Hey, time to eat some candy. Oh my god, hello. Yo, what it do, people? Oh, I can't, I can't jump. Alright, I guess I'm not supposed to jump in this costume. Witch dagger! Ooh, everyone's all spooked up. What's the line for? I can't talk to anybody. Are we going in here? We are. Ooh, I like the song. Hey, when's this spring? How's hey? When's this day supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B, please. It's a fun part. B. Yeah, I will totally say your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrite. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like twenty percent actual history now, and like eighty percent spooks. So it's like a fake history now. So so it's like fake history. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal but gets anyway. You got like five minutes to look at your lines. Shuck it, wing it. May please don't wing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Psh, I got this. No, you don't have this. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so it's like a play or something? We card you. Sweet lord. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Boston Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the... <laughs> Say anything? Where are they supposed? Why is he just staring <laughs> through the mists of time? I see weary fur trappers from nineteen from seventeen ninety three. Brother John, yes, brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides, with uh, which a spring. B blessed are we, brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and up. Uh, arduous travels and carrying these 300 beaver pelts let us make haste oh excellent brother ho oh, travelers help an extremely old woman ho oh, travelers spare a crust of bread for a needy woman uh, I think we should probably hurry because people are waiting <laughs> Haggard witch ho oh, will to look upon Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. <laughs> I shall curse ye and thee. Uh, and it doesn't Never mind. And this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with- Come on now, don't sigh, Jesus. We're trying our hardest here. The least you can do is pretend to be interested. To joust words with a hell hag. Yee hee hee. What? Yee hee hee. It's fuck it. I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. But a little, but little did anyone know that a witch did not curse in vain. That was it. How is that spooky? Are we going into like an act two or something? Was that it? Okay, so I'm assuming we're starting into another one. Okay. All right. Help, help. Who will help a poor traveler? Hi, Greg. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir. I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? <laughs> Excuse me, 
Excuse me, could we call out the man who just half ass clapped as I entered? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Z Zoons, we camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. <laughs> oh, it chilleth the heart. E he he he. I did curse this spring. A curse upon rude young men. That's better. That's not. Um. Oh shit, that wasn't the line? Line? Give me the fucking paper. What do you mean you don't have it? Fuck Christ. She has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. Okay, that was what I was supposed to say. I didn't fucking know. <laughs> Where'd he go? What just happened? <laughs> wow. I am also undone, for I have drinketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. <laughs> Bye. Oh shit, Greg died too. And yet even there, the curse's lust for her blood would not be sated. Alright, those cops are a bit better. Come on. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> this is fucking horrible. God, we're back. Oh, look, the old man's back again. Jesus. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon me, spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accursing glare of the 300 ghostly beavers. Oh, haha, <laughs> cause the beaver pelts. It would seem that all who die here are cursed and never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Where are you guys going? What's going on? I'm okay, I'm supposed to come out here? Okay. Oh god, I'm out here by myself. Uh, um... Crap. For, for each man is determined on his path. For what is a ghost? Uh, la, 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 la. This is the longest one. It's just like a multiple choice. And each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path may lead to places unknown. Oh, hey, look, it's the guy who fixed uh, the, the, the door in the beginning. You, from the bus station. Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So, which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. I... what? Oh god, how did you know? Okay, apparently she doesn't seem to be, like, in on this. Duh... <laughs> Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end. At night, in the woods. Hey! Roll the credits. But that is not the whole of the story. Hi, B. This is your line. How do you know so much about me? Forest God, thou hast no power here. Don't fucking so I'm trying! Every, even now, thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! Shh, young, oh, shush, oh, never mind. Young witch, even now, the world you know in endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo! Take care. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is it just me? Because I don't even think they know what's happening. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we celebrate the dying of the year. And the founding of Possum Springs. Our mayor goes decree it. <laughs> Why is he mayor now? <laughs> what happened? I thought, but now he's a ghost? Why did they give a, why did they let a ghost be the mayor? The, oh my god. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the country, the county seat. Yee hee hee now leave before I curse you all. I don't know, I'm the witch, isn't that what I say? Actually, the myth of the wicked witch is the product of centuries of persecution by- And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way up from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business. 
I don't even know what was right and what was wrong. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, what the hell just happened? Oh my god. I didn't even know I was dressing up for that. I didn't even know she was in the horror fest. Okay. I guess it's like a, an annual play. 87th. Jesus Christ. Jeez, thanks guys. I'm never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're going to watch horror movies. A hey, can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. Oh, is it? Oh, I wanted to come in. Oh, is it? Oh, that's adorable. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet uh, by Hand Panther. Kind of have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of these things can be true. <laughs> can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. Oh. Everybody's splitting up. What the hell do I do now? This guy's still sitting out here. This is garbage. Oh, my baby's all upset now. Oh, no. <gasps> uh. What the? Oh, my God. Hey, anyone? Shit. Oh, shit. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna figure this out. Oh, boy. Here we go. Night in the woods. The heart of the hometown since 1972. Oh, I'm still going. Okay, this is a, this is a cutscene. I'm not doing anything. <sighs> Where the hell did he go? Shit. Okay, now I'm controlling. Hey, 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 witch dagger. Hey, 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 witch dagger. Sorry. I just love the way her feet do that. I can't jump, which is good because that means that I'm not going to have to do any type of parkour. Uh, sir? Or madam? Uh, Molly, help! May? Go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. Ooh. But the spooky mans. Where the hell am I now? Oh, is this like some spooky, like... Oh, this is this is spooky. I'm not jumping anymore. Is it because I forgot how to jump or something? Oh, no, no, no. Don't save and quit. I just want to know how to jump. That's all. I'm going to assume that it's A. Can someone tell me what's going on? Uh... It's rumbling, it's rumbling, control's rumbling, I don't know why it's rumbling, what's going on? I'm scared! <laughs> okay... What the hell was that? What is going on? Part 3, The Long Fall. What? See? I'm confused too! Uh, the game's confused. I'm not the only one. What the hell is going on? I had to take a sip. Ooh. Ooh, now the song's different. Wake up. Scratch a scratch. Get the shoes. Ready to go. Uh, yeah. What was? What's the big circle? What does that mean? Who's this guy? I wonder who that is. Guys, help police. Hey. Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. I woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after night if you want to say hello. Oh, yay! So I guess all that was, it was a little spat. I guess she was like, that's a little spat. We'll, we'll work on it. Hey, dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today. Oh, no. T Todd, yeah. Because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. I don't like band practice. It's very stressful. I mean, I was about to say, we could either go to B or we could go to band practice. But to be fair, band practice is the same thing. Because B is going to be there too since it's band practice. Mama. Mama. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? 
Could we leave? God, if we could leave, that's horrible. Hi, Mom. I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Grain drizzly. Yeah. I could go for that today. Same. Apologize. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. No, I should apologize. Me too. There we go. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. No, it is not. We should love each other. <laughs> I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat it a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Got some stress, too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about it at, can we talk about school? Also later. Don't listen, mama. Listen, I love you dearly, all right? Don't worry, we'll sit down, we'll talk about, okay, I love you. We'll, fi we'll fix this, all right? I love you, mama. It is now time to carpe diem. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. Ooh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Hey, this is the shit that I live for, boys. Oh, cool, all right. I didn't know I could fool around on the trees. Look at me! Hi, Mr. Squirrel! Isn't this a big old hoop of fun? Hey, didn't they say we weren't allowed to do this because we could hurt ourselves? Also, shouldn't I not be jumping on this because it's raining right now? <laughs> I could actually... <laughs> I could actually sail across this. Hold on, I want to talk to Selmers. How do I get down? Help, I don't know how to get down. Help! Oh. Hi, Selmers. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. What a horror fest. Saw some messed up shit that I think it was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Oh, was that? Okay, cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Rad. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Well, yep. Want to hear a new poem? Hell yeah. Autumn wins, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? What's considered an autumn- what's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station then blowing it up? Oh my god! In November. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Is what she said. Alright, boys, let's just go to band practice and just deal with that. I love when she jumps and when she's falling and her eyes squint. It's the cutest thing. She looks adorable. Oh boy. Let's just get band practice out of the way, cause I can already tell that that's just gonna be a, a big old, just just a big old a big a big old mess, just a just a big old heap and mess. So this is where it happened last night apparently, and nobody even knows who got kidnapped or some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh, you died before you got to enjoy the statue that made of you. It's garbage. Damn. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I just thought of? <clears throat> Let's go back to the, uh, this. And see if there's a missing poster. Ah ha ha. Oh no, it's just the same guy. Okay, Casey Hartley. Hey, let's play with this again. We. 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 Katie Washington has never lost a child. I can't move this. All right, never mind. More like Awesome Springs. Oh, jeez. That's a good one. <clears throat> I'm also dying. <clears throat> nope, still dying. Alright, let's go and let's do some gosh forsaken uh, band practice. And hopefully we'll have another catchy song under our belt. What's the song going to be called? Who knows? It wasn't Die Anywhere Else. Um, there was Weird Autumn. I can't remember it. Never mind. I lost it. This is where Angus works. Whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, Pizza Place. I miss you, Possibilities. You were the best Possibilities. You were the only Possibility that I had. <laughs> hey, what a bold timer. <laughs> oh my god. Seize the day, old timer. Gray, I have entered your establishment. Sup, dude? Ugh. Ugh. Long night. Weird night. 
What's up? I'll tell you a band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. We're gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Hell yeah, let's do this. Band practice, uh, uh, making music, uh, uh, following our dreams. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. What up, y'all? Hi, Angus. Uh, hi. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Jerm. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Alright, great. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby. Up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. A pumpkin head guy. Oh no. Nope. 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 Nope, I cannot do this. Nope, I cannot do this. Oh my god, okay, okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. <laughs> that is not, that is not easy. I have to actually move the controller so that both of my hands are on all four of the buttons. This is a fast one though. Oh no. Nope, 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 I do not have it, oh no, oh no, oh I do not have it, oh my god, yeah, oh that was it, okay, that was awful, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know the song. Whew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're not I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and all that. and also I think it was and also I think it was in my head after. While I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? And, well, you're my friends. You're my friends. Let's be honest, alright? Okay, let's throw it all on. We're all here. Jordan's here, I guess. No, I'm not okay. I kind of freaked out. And probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty, ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as. Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? May. What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When was the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid it, who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghost deeds. That's the spirit? The library! Hey, I'm with me. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, 
hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. <laughs> That's not funny. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we have, I forget that we live separate realities. Mine's clearly better. What's going on here? Pumpkin dead. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Pumpkin dead guy. Hello, madam. Hey. Oops. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Anyway, any any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Well, I don't even think I was reading any of that correctly. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. <laughs> I also didn't read our voice correctly either. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Oh boy. All right, take that elevator. Go up here. Well, this is the third floor. Okay, so do we have to walk somewhere else? I can only assume. Looks like someone left something left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Was that meant to be a joke? I don't, I'm, these are flying over my head so, is that Bubsy? Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. Ch <laughs> What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. This The school of being five freaking years old. All right, so this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. I don't want to be kidnapped by a cult. Let's be under a curse. Where a cute thing followed you around, 24-7, yelling about, like, sharing and not littering and paying taxes. Well, that's an important, uh, skill. I was fine. I'm 20 now and I still have to pay taxes. Charity Barry goes to a state inf infrastructure budgeting meeting. Uh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barry. Oh, no. Uh, a certainty. What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh, wow, you still can't, like, go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Oh, okay. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, so I walked all the way into this room to talk about Charity Barry for no goddamn reason. Something told me to go back on that elevator. I was like, is this the third floor? This doesn't look like the third floor. But I mean, we got to see everything going on in this floor, so. Going up. So they said the third floor, okay. Jeez, that was fast, alright. <clears throat> Time to learn about ghosts. <laughs> oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Oh, he walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a, a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. All right, cool. Thanks, B, you're a nice lady. All right, so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna take a look at some spooky ghosts. Or we're gonna take a look at some old newspapers and see if there's anything about a spooky ghost. All right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Fucking May. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Oh, thanks, B. That's very nice. Aww. <laughs> Ugh. Aww, we friends, B twist. Here, let me get this. Let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. <laughs> all right. So, what are we looking for? I want to just, I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 how do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. 
Oh my sweet Jesus. Spectral happenings at possible jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook. A known as possible jump according to the lovers at approximately 11.45 p.m. A figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forced to work as the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone <gasps> having leapt from the gate hide, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw in mystery. A decent hike up to the state forest hills. Possible jump is a famous for his... Uh, for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir, it also hosts historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. What happened to the Possum Massacre? Hey, look at this. Uh, hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Everyone up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. Alright, uh, events! The last Charlie will make its run in September 4th. September 4th, Bernie Gus, a longest employee with 25 years as an operating pickup passenger, starting at the Market Street. Okay, that has nothing to do with anything. Strange But True, A Tale of Teeth. What the fuck? That's so long! Strange But True is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow County history and culture, published weekly. No, we're not gonna look about that. Possum Massacre. Oh, here we go. Uh, severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. Oh my god. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown at the na and the National Guard and strike bearers opened fire on the crowd. Jesus Christ. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A young a young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food, packet, package of food to their father and uncle who were on strike below the shooting when the shooting broke out. Photographs of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in cold blood has circulated far outside of our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to strike to the strike site to meet with strikers independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began 45 days since the start of the strike the bosses have agreed to comply to the current safety standards and to honor the demands of the miners jesus christ new old store and town center strike okay i'm, I'm actually curious a strike at sanford mine has been called the idea first arose after the memorial of the uh, 1888 explosion, explosion victims. Mine is gathered in the home of Arthur Borowski. Hey! That's probably my father or my great-grandfather or something. To continue the memorial to their friends, they also began recounting all the recounting all the promises the bosses of, uh, re, 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 uh, on this past year. Ren, re, reneged? Reneged? Had written, I don't know. It, it probably, if I say it, if, I don't know. Including basic safety measures to avoid another explosion, a group of 20 miners entered the mines to begin the strike, and 30 more joined them before, before when their all work has been stopped at the mine, and the miners are now striking in eight hour shifts. Their wives and children have begun to bring food and water for the men. The bosses have stated that the mines are safer than they were a year ago, and that there's no need to act in this manner. Oh, here we go. Local ghost, Little Joe, at it again. At the school. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possible Spring has, has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, pur uh, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possible Spring Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possible Process Spring City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned. Though seekers, you may not need a ghost, but you may need to find for trespass. Oh, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a find for trespassing. How about this? A hey, ooh, look, S scooch, so I can see graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Haha, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, there's so much. The Stanley T. Possum State, known as Residence. The Stanley T. Possum Statue, known as Residence as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Oh no. Parker Springs and Possum Springs. Randall Stafford owner in the Bells Hole Mine Works is partnered with Samuel Colson owner of a cohort. Okay. There's been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. <laughs> Underground gases afflict many. The houses on Larch Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas buildup. Okay. Samuel T. Possum statue is officially open to the public. Special happenings. We already saw that. Sound off. Opinion line. We would like to remind our men in town. The men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you. 
<coughs> Here we go. Ghost of Rumors Haunt New Historical Society. The process brings historical society's conversion of the Shriek Heist houses into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Custodial head Jen Newsom has re has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying door knobs to came out to see who was fooling, but there was nobody even there. Or there's nobody there. Or there was never nobody there, said Newsom, trying to get the trying to get this map room operational for the children all the while I'm, oh, sorry, trying to get this map room operational for the children all the while I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Newsom, I previously requested to work only daylight hours when the other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be terrifying. I don't go off limits I don't go off I don't go to the off limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and then only to go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing little Joe or something, but they can they can all go spit. A little Joe for the uninitiated, uninitiated was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Boston Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical Society. History that won't stay history. In History Place. History Place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, I mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty old, cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house! Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leaves. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Uh... Nah, let's look at more stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Three clues, we got three leads. Your regular detective. Membrowski, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right, let's go. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow, can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into the society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe go to the grave. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. Oh, it does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh, my freaking God. I was uh, mind blown. Am I right? Hey, Selmers, what it do? Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? That's a lady? Why is it so hard to tell? Oh, well, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher's <laughs> survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty <laughs> soda cans. Should be saying that to... Should be, she should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Oh, and there's only three of them, and Selmers is here. And they're at a fucking library, like, after hours or something. That is so adorable. Do you want to stick around for this? Yes! I am sticking around for this. So now we have new poems from myself, and Fisherman Jones, and Selma, and Selma Ann Forrester. That's a lady? This whole time that's been a lady? <sighs> I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string. <laughs> they don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst... Wait, hold on. That was the title. To my worst student. The subject of my stories, I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? What? Talking about the details that, about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two, two poems. They're short though. Two poems, take it away. Uh, hi folks, thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. 
I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know the paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Hey, future Ed, chalk this fucking video game up as fucking game of the year number two. Rhyme and fucking night in the woods. Jesus, ton of frogs swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. <laughs> he definitely talks the actual fish. Almost definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma, Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funky dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called, There's No Perception in Possum Springs. Ha ha ha. She's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, babyface boy billionaire. Phone apps sold, made money, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world has ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol, and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours, forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, there in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Mm. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Word. That's... I like that though. That was some... That was heavy. Good job. Here, look. You get a golf clap. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Summers. What? I like your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote myself. Wait. Oh, wait. Was the assumption that the that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Summer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Post uh, Poets of Possum Springs. I'm so glad I sat through that. That was awesome. Hey! <laughs> what it do, boys and girls? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. <laughs> right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. And he died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled him with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. <laughs> what places were you talking- uh, What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I'd call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an- <laughs> Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the, histor the historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in scouts. Oh, he was a scout. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, I need to actually, actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. Jeez Louise, this is just all going all over the place, boys. Ooh. Hi, Papa. Ta-da. It's Summers, a poet, a good poet. Thought if I die, Summers should write a poem about it. It would be a really good poem. Ugh. Yeah, it seems like that's going around. The ugh. <laughs> that's, that's not... What was funny about that? Why did it... Never mind. Yep, it is. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. We are getting along. Just a bump. You two always, you you two, always two alike. I guess. I got your chillin' her smartassness. 
Oh my god, you're chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine, we're cool. Mama, are you in here? Okay. I can only assume he's watching TV. Good night, Papa. I go to sleep now. Alright, what's going on here? Anybody talking to me? Oh, jeez, okay. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I think that's uh, Angus. So, Greg said something, Angus said something, and B said something. What could it be? <laughs> Get it? What could it be? I'm such a funny guy. Alright, boys and girls, what'd you say? What's going on? Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Oh, do you, oh I, know, I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'll go in there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Have fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Oh, she went to sleep. Wait, did you did you fall asleep? Lol. <laughs> That's adorable. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did, then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? Your ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts them in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Good night, Greg. Hey, man. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight shot. It's it's a pretty straight shot of the jump, uh, possum jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tim's hat. <laughs> Hello. No. <laughs> Bright Harbor Post is Autumn secretly killing you? What? I don't want Autumn secretly kill me. I'd like to be alive, thank you. Yeah, that's alright with you. Oh boy, okay. So what are we gonna do? Are we gonna wake up and like it's gonna be the night or something? I'm confused. Do we go now? I bedtime? Yes? Uh, stretch. Pop off the shoes. Go to bed. Sleep. Can we not have a weird dream, please? Can we please not have a weird dream? Can I just wake up tomorrow? No weird dream. I just want to have a nice, calm sleep. Nothing going on. We have no reason to have a dream. God fucking God damn it. <laughs> We're back here again, for Christ's sake. God only knows how this is about to go. Alright, look out for the, the little shine. That uh, tells you where the uh, whatchamacallits are. The instruments. Ooh, there's floating people. Why are there floating people? What the hell? I see that up there. Alright. I assume it's over here. Alright, let's go down here. There's just people floating. I don't know what's happening. The music's really nice. Is that B? That's B. B. Sweetheart. I keep hitting that. I don't mean to. It's all just B. Oh my god, hello! Gigantic fish. Alright, I saw it, I saw it. Uh, that looks like germ. Ooh, down there. Down there, hello. Alright, now where's the next one? Is it, Okay, it's up here, alright, cool. This is all really weird. It's a lot to take in. Oh my god. Can I climb this tree? Okay, hold on. You have to, like, move. Never mind. Hold on. Okay. 
There were supposed to be four, right? I think I only got three. There's that fucking fish again. Ooh, this is darkness. No, don't go to the darkness. <laughs> it's just fun to jump around, honestly. This is... I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, we gotta go up here. Hold on. I mean, how am I supposed to... Can I ride you, Mr. Fish? How am I supposed to get back up there? Mr. Fish. Alright, I'll say I assume we do this. These dreams are just starting to get more and more out of control. I have no idea what's happening. Alright, excuse me, B. Excuse me, germ. I wonder what we're gonna run into now. What cosmic being are we going to run into this time? Oh boy. Is it gonna be a fish? Uh, that just looks like an ostrich. Or a turkey, maybe? I don't know! This is all just really weird, honestly. <laughs> I don't even know how to feel about half of this stuff. Okay. Um, well, all right. <laughs> that was something. Has there always been spider webs up there? Awake. Scratch, scratch, put on the shoes, day start. Yo, my dudes, what it do? You guys message me? Yeah. Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. <laughs> You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning, like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Uh, planters are to be pitted. Pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Alright. Close weird. Okay, so let's actually hang out with Greg. Or maybe we could hang out with Angus, I don't know. I'm kinda I'm kinda curious to hang out with Greg, honestly. Mama Hi Mama, how are you? Morning sunshine! You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking a headache? You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, you're more than the 10 hours or so you already get. I mean, more than the 10 hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. <laughs> what did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Oh, it was interesting. Okay, gotta go. Bye, be safe now. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Bye, ma. I go, I leave. I have fun. I hang out with friends. Yes. I do friend things. Yes, we go look for ghost. We we, we go ghost. Are you there? He go, he go boo. I go, ah. Uh. <laughs> and then I go back home. I go ma. I mean, I, mean, I go mother. Babushka. Babushka goes to spooky and she go yes I know yeah I, I tell you multiple times and you know listen Selmers hey Selmers you agree last night oh uh, thanks having you to bounce ideas off helped I'm good for that want to hear a new poem hell yeah this is a short one because I'm tired me too so that works out <clears throat> I got mad one time it was online I've been mad on the internet before too it was crazy making well, I mean, we've all been there. We've gotten mad over the internet. Somebody just said some things that just weren't true. You know what I mean? Or maybe somebody said something that was true and it just ruffled your jimmies just a little bit. Because you were like, well, I know it's true. Just stop saying it. You know? All right. So I assume we're going to hang out with Greg. I can only assume what's going to happen. I assume we're going to hang out with Greg. I mean, I have the choice. To hang out with whoever I wish. But I kinda wanna hang out with Greg. Fuck you, pigeon. Cause I can go to your pickaxe. No, let's 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 leave B alone. Not that she doesn't not that we not that I don't wanna hang out with B. 
let's just give B just a just a little let's give her a break, you know, let's let her do her thing. You know, you don't want to smother your friends. That just that might just be my introvert talking, but hey, you know. Ah oh, fuck, should I hang out with Angus? I can actually go hang out with Angus too. Let's hang out with Angus. If he's in here at least. Angus! What it do? So I so I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? <laughs> yes. I'm excited. I'm too. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. <laughs> ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff could be our podcast. Aw. Oh, about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff is brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> oh my god. Friends. They are a gem. <coughs> These friends are at least. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take me up here uh, to play your frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with, with a frisbee once. Full speed, full speed. Goodness gracious. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh, well then that explains it. We stopped after the frisbee. All right, you just, you walking, all right. Posted, do not feed, or touch the wildfowl, the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to like socialize with the woods, I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on, on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. I'm gonna walk with Angus. I don't have to walk with Angus, but I'm gonna walk with Angus. Why? Because I love Angus. Do I love Angus as much as Greg loves Angus? No, because Greg loves Angus very much, but I love Angus too. <coughs> I'm also dying. <clears throat> Alright, God only knows what's gonna happen up here, boys. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also scared. I was gonna say, hey, you know, this looks a lot like my dream, but then again, I was just flying on top of, like, dreams and stuff. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Hey, dude... Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I say that for emergencies. Being slow is an emergency. <laughs> what is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Limestone. Ooh. You like do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Ooh. I know, right? Like right where we're standing. There were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright, Red. I don't want to run ahead. He has asthma. I feel I'd feel bad if uh you know if I was running ahead of guy who You're not supposed to split a tree or a telephone pole, that's bad luck. Or at least that's what my mom says to me. <sighs> Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. <sighs> So if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? Why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know, there might be I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know, I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. We're weird because things are so boring nowadays. To think like all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. To find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Alright. You know, despite him uh, having a hard time getting up stuff, he goes a lot faster than I do. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can well, uh, I don't have a problem wheezing, my friend. Let me tell you. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime, <sighs> stone. 
I was going to take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. That both are true. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Uh, big freak, big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. Apparently, according to uh, archaeology, or I think that's what it is. Yeah, according to archaeology, dinosaurs did not have a loud roar. They just sounded like ducks, apparently. Like they, they didn't. They had like quacks or screeches or something like that. Like they didn't actually have like loud roars that the movies uh, think that they did. Apparently, we died in like five minutes. Huh? Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude? Oh, time, dude. Oh, time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Angus, sweetheart, I love you dearly. I'm not trying to have you get hurt as we're climbing up this hill, alright? Alright, what's about to happen, boys? Possum jump. Here we go. A, A. Oh, wow, it got dark very quickly. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> we passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now. Just up ahead. I don't want to run ahead. It's dark. Ooh, here we are. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Where it was, like, Miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town, like, 100 years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys, and some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones? Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. I would love for an ancient shark bone to just pop out of the grave and be like, I'm not actually dead! <laughs> I want him to sound like that too. Be like, I've come to eat your flesh! Spooky log! So this is Possum Jump, huh? You alright? Wow, we're really up high. And really far out. I can't see I can't see time from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what are we just so what? Are we just supposed to wait and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. <clears throat> nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the co the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all... Uh, remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellation the stories you dreamed of. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay then. Alright, cool, constellation hunting. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or a dream that one time. Ugh, whichever. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Celestial hand. Well, cosmic hand, actually. This one. Oh, look, we can. Okay. Boom. With that. And this. And that. And that one. And this one. And that one. And this one. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, well, we oh we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. All right, let's look up more constellations like this one. With that one, and this one, and that one. Oh, and that one, and this one. Oh. Okay, I guess that doesn't connect. Okay, this one, and that one, and that one. It's a cat. 
he's got arrows sticking out of him, and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember. Don't remember his name. He lived. Uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah, my granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there, like shiny things. Was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh wow. Well, yeah, I used to call his. I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well then, he stole a. Well then, he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was sick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Ooh, huh? Decent, extremely decent. Cosmic hand. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, this is a big one. Apparently, let's put this huge one together. That one and this one and that one. Oh, and this one. No, okay. So I guess it's just this one. That one and this one and that one. Ooh, a whale. It's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Yeah. Why? Why does it have to cram the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. They didn't know what the earth was. Whales are, whales are pretty big. They don't need to carry the world, though. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. Cosmic hand. <laughs> I just hope it shows up. All right, and then we're just gonna boom get a triangle together. Oh, that. Okay, okay, that's the belt. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's uh, I know this one a little. F I know this one a little from like prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. God, what's worse? The world ends when it rings or the, it, you die when it rings and looking at you? Let's just say the world ends. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not gonna get, <laughs> we're not gonna get run to death by a bell. Cosmic hand. Oh, we're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Ooh, or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried, and people have really tried. Do you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. Whoop. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Oh, what happened? Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either, and like, um, <clears throat> you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot. Oh no, baby! And my mom was probably worse. She like wouldn't feed me, which was, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> she like shoved me into the pantry and slammed the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall over, which fall off the shelves on top of me. Jesus, man, that's really bad. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She locked me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could be like, so I can like signal the neighbors. Oh, okay, I see what, I see where this is going. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I was like, started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, ugh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's over, oh, he's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Haha, <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like, yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in that in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or no. I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. 
Cause when someone does all that stuff to you, it can like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghost or god. So like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in god or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like, the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but uh, I believe that the stars exist, and that, and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern, pattern finders, or pattern finders, and we'll find patterns and we'll likely really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Oh, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times, like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did. Oh, there it is. There's the silver lining to this entire story. So like, the, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Ah, jeez, okay. <coughs> Yep. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. I should come out here more often. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Don't look at him. Duh. Duh. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility code or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you. Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breath. In. Out. All right. All right. Am I running? I am. Okay, I'm not running. He's just standing there. We ran past him and he didn't do anything. Angus, don't hurt yourself, please. Okay. Oh my god, he is after us. Goodness gracious. <laughs> you okay, big guy? <laughs> oh, a talent that I don't need, but have anyway. Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that, so that was it. That was the ghost. Okay, or it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing. They probably get lots of kids throwing kids throwing parties back there. Okay, never mind. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Ugh, that wasn't too far from there. Ugh, why does nobody believe me? Man, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry, grouchy, headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was... Oh, it's cool. It was. hi yay yay Oh my goodness gracious. A lot happened. F -f 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 Papa, I'm scared. thought Angus is... Oh, she didn't spell psychic right. Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. <laughs> his hat blocks his psychic abilities. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Okay. So, there you go. There's two witnesses to that right there. Boom. Do you think if we went, if we went with Greg, it would have been the same thing? Who knows? Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Is. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy? I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. 
Oh, okay. I don't fucking, I didn't know it was still, or I didn't know that the conversation was over. I'm glad we hung out with Angus. Oh, I'm really glad we hung out with Angus now. Oh, boy. That's, uh, that's some heavy stuff out there. Jeez Louise. Hey, uh, guys, come here. Come here. Come close. Sit down. Um, if that's, if that's happening to you, like, if you're, like, you know, getting abused and everything like that, you, you can come to me, you know that, right? Like, if, if stuff's going on, if, like, some serious family stuff is going on and, like, you know, you don't feel like you can talk about it with anybody, believe me, all right? Before you say anything, I know what you're talking about. You've got, you've probably got friends all over the place going, oh, you can talk to me and you can talk to me, but you don't want to burden them, you know what I mean? Or maybe, I don't know. So you might have your reasons. You might have your reasons. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pr prod you with that, okay? If you have your reasons, you have your reasons. What I do want to say is that if you want to talk, I'm here, all right? Any video. It does not matter. It does not matter. I will find it. I will comment, okay, as soon as I possibly can because guess what? Come here. Come here. Come close, okay? I love you dearly, all right? And if anything's going on, I just, I, I want to make sure you're all good, all right? Because I care about you a lot. So, you know, if you if you get abused or, you know, some stressful stuff's going on in your life, let me know. You don't have to. You okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm not making it. You don't have to. But if you want to, I'm here. So, what's going on on here? I just wanted to get that out there, all right? Because I, it took, it, it, that's real, you know? The, even though this is a game, sometimes you Sometimes it's it, it's easy to forget that that actually happens to some people and sometimes it's, it's worse, you know, sometimes the outcomes are just a lot worse, you know what I mean? But hey, you know, shout out to the people who are having problems like that and they're sticking through it, alright? I believe in you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta believe in yourself too. Fucking, I need to start doing that. Hi B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did! Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry, for what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise you have a good time otherwise? Yeah, learned a lot about Angus. He had a kind of a he's had kind of a rough life. Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how did you know about this? Uh because Angus and I have been friends since like eighth grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the <laughs> you're not like the glue holding all of us together, Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Made me and me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm. Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. T T Y L. A I fucking love Angus. My favorite character was Greg, and then it was May, and now it's kind of Angus. So let's put this on a rank. Angus number one, May number two, Greg number three. Boom, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, fuck, I forgot about B. Angus number one, B number two, Greg number three, May number four. There we go. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Angus probably wouldn't say anything about it. I mean, even if Greg was like, yo, what's going on? Angus would be like, there's nothing. Not a, even if it was, I mean, it's not a ghost. That's one thing. So it's not a ghost. So why, you know, worry about it? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did. You guys saw a weird creeper, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Are you giving Angus a smooch? Oh, Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. Okay, 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 okay. Good thing he didn't do three or we'd be in trouble. <laughs> hey, man, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own two eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird, but there are folks that live up there in the park, and there are hunting camps and stuff. So it was most likely a guy hunting buck early. Dude, I, f I like, feel it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us are were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Hey, hey, dude. I'm an, I'm an artiste. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. 
All right, off to bed. Night, dude. Wait, hold on. Never mind. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Was that not you? Hey, man, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Wait, oh, what? Wait, whoa. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. So, <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart and have a great ass. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in the pantry program. Oh, in the paint program. Oh, it's a dick with his hat on and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, man, it's Angus. Oh, hey, man, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> oh, gracious. This game. Jeez Louise. All right. Well, that was fun. That was scary, but that was also fun. All right. It is bedtime, my boys. Stretch. Pop off the shoes. Fix the bed. Go to sleep. Okay, so it's all the spooky goals, so now we're probably gonna have a really spooky dream. Uh oh. I can't see anything. Oh, there we go, okay. I was saying, I can't see anything. I thought it was like first person for a second. I was just say, oh my god, no, please. I just like doing that. That's fun. Do I have one here? No, okay. I think we're in the woods. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to get spooked. Uh oh, broken tree. Big old, big old planet. Okay, no, we're not supposed to go up there. So that was just a planet. Don't spook me. Please? I don't want to get sp Oh my god. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Oh, you know what? He should have like a weird mystical defense. Are you God? No. Oh. So. Seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I'm asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess? Never mind, I'm not. Mm. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now. And there was nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are, you? What are those other giant animals? Like the ostrich and the bear? And the uh, alligator? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of... There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. What? A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lies, and they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Oh, and I am showing you now. What the hell is that? What is that thing? Okay. Ah. Oh God. Oh God. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I'm climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. 
and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Nothing even the- not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? What about everything? <laughs> what, what about my life? Soon they are dying. Well, that's inevitable. I mean, can we please not get into the whole existential crisis right now? Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why, why was I chosen to see all this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten, goodbye, little creature. What? I don't... I don't know what just happened. I don't know what just happened. I had to talk about the universe. Apparently, there's like some weird creatures that I'm gonna run into. I'm waking up. This is a weird day that I'm having. Goodness gracious. I put the scratch to scratch. Jesus Christ. Echoes. <laughs> Why does every episode end with me just be just... Like, I don't know how to feel about anything. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna end this episode here because I'm very confused. <laughs> um, hey, before we go, I was serious about that part about the whole, like, if you've got shit going on in your life and you want to talk about it, you can talk to me. I was serious about that. Okay? If there's stuff going on, hey, hey, come here. Come, come close, sit down. If there's stuff going on and you want to talk to me about it, you can, all right? Don't feel like you can't. I'm here, all right? I'm not going to say, oh, I understand everything. I know what you're going through. That doesn't matter. None of that fucking matters, all right? I'm going to throw that shit to the side, okay? Going to be real with you for like a second. Just just talk to me, okay? I'm all ears. That's all I'm saying. All right. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode because I certainly enjoyed making it. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.